Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of UFO Enemy Unknown or XCOM UFO Defense. Let's see. So, we have two soldiers here uh, with a size strength of 50, skill of 40. Let's see if we can get something done. No, not you. You had higher strength but less skill than them. Pierre. You have high strength, but less skill. So I wish I, I need to... Maybe I should go and read up on the me exact num mechanics, what these numbers actually will do. Yeah. For whatever reason, these guys were a um, lot more sturdy. And I can't check the skills of the dude we actually did mind control. If, he's, if, if his skills are worse, it could be. What I really wanted to know, and what I've already determined, is that both of these aliens have the same strength, so it doesn't really matter which of them we target. One of them isn't stronger than the other. And what about you guys? Do you have... Uh... You know what? I'm willing to go all in here. Let's everybody pick up the Psyamps. If it's impossible to, de to defeat someone who has more skill than you, then we're kind of screwed, but I'm kind of assuming that it is possible. Just very, very unlikely. Okay, you have greater skill and strength than both of them. So it's not a flat number thing. So at least I've determined that. For, of course I could shoot one of them and hope the other guy panics. It seems highly unlikely to actually work, sadly. Kind of sad because the first guy melted so easily. Oh, have you used, have you used them all? No. I still had some left. What did you stop me for, huh? Could also be some case where they are become more resistant the more units you mind control. Okay, someone definitely saw you there. And you got so badly wounded I don't think I'll do anything but try to kill him. Oh dear. Yeah, look at that. He really damaged our hover tank. That's bad. But at least we killed them. Um, my fear is that they'll both respond fire. Then we'll be dead, but no. Okay, they didn't respond. Let's run away. Okay, and that was the last dude. Okay, fine. And turn. Dang it, we might just have to go and fight them after all. I was kind of hoping we didn't have to. 
Looking great, let's start with you. Yep, there's our little scouty mac scout. Let's just investigate. How strong is the scout? Since he got actually melted on the first go. Does he have weaker stats? No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, you are the strongest size soldier we have, so that's probably it. Which is also why I'm not sure I want to use you first. Um, not Miss Malib, I need to see if any of the others can actually mind control them. Um, because if this is the case, we only have one soldier that can actually... There we go. You succeeded. You have a strength 79.45. Ah, no. Oh, thank goodness he didn't go. Um, the hover tank is going to round this corner, so I want you to go there first. Someone saw you and shot you. Now I'm inclined to use the strongest one we have. Okay, what did I mind control? Oh! Wait a second, we mind controlled. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, I didn't know. I thought these were robots. I mean, I don't mind. Okay, you can see four aliens. One, two, three, and one right next to you. Okay, um, okay, let's see how many other mines we can melt into, into jelly, if any. You can't do anything else. I suspect that these guys are uh, the stronger aliens. We could always find that out, actually. Since we are now in the command center, let's see. Leader 6045, so they're stronger, yeah. So it's highly unlikely we can mind control them, but uh, I ain't gonna let that stop me. And you said there was someone here as well. Yeah, that one is a regular soldier. Should be. Is the sector pod one square? No. The sector pod is kind of okay. That's kind of strange. Sector pod is all over the place. You know what, sector pod? Uh, can't I select you anymore? There we go. Yeah, your accuracy is absolutely shite, but that doesn't matter. I think this is a better use of our resources. Uh, let's move. Oh, yeah. Walkie okay, walkie okay, sector pod. Or are you trapped in this wall? Better if you're facing this direction. What are you at? It's still. 
<laughs> yeah, something strange is going on there. But I don't care. Mind control sector pod. Killed one of us, and uh, one of the aliens. So which alien are you seeing? Um, yeah, but that's a sector pod. So I'm not sure which alien you're actually seeing. But it also means I think I'm gonna move my hover tank plasma. To a slightly safe location. He can stay there, that's fine. And use the reserve a snapshot. Um, do I dare move forward here? That's the question. Have to. Okay, so for whatever reason you can't see the two guys we saw earlier. Let's run away again. I mean, we still have a side target. And there ain't... A nobody's gonna get out of their craft without us noticing at this point. And we don't think there are anyone inside. You know what, let's switch that panic attack. I very much doubt it'll have an effect, but hey. I don't know if panics have a weaker or lower threshold for success. They might. And then we draw mind control again. Am I kidding? I want to control them. Give me your mind. Okay, fine. If you resist, let's try to panic you again. Yeah, I don't think we're actually skilled enough to deal with ethereals yet. We'll probably need one more month of training, but that's fine. We do have at least some success now. And if we can mind control that sector pod, <laughs> we'll have a nice little base of operations up there. Because I don't think that sector pod can move anywhere. We've already taken out their leader, which feels incredibly good. I assume that this is either another leader or a navigator. We I mean, know there's at least two soldiers alive, and whoever actually shot at us, because that wasn't a sector pod. But I think there's another alien on the same darn square up here somewhere. Which is kind of funky. But that sector pod is kind of trapped, so I don't know. And if he blows up the sector pod, that's fine too. Okay, let's have a look. I want to see. Have we done a few panic attacks? What am I looking at here? Okay, you're a leader. You have some morale damage, though I assume that's more from the uh, fatality near you than anything we've done. Still, let's lower his morale if we can. Okay, that's the last use. Let's go. They're moving.
Okay, so so far we killed two units. You have to go forward and hopefully spot that guy. No. Um, can't you see our slave? He's right up there. Are you telling me he's actually hidden because I put him... Oh, dang it. That's bad. Because that means we just might have to expose ourselves. Yeah. No! Okay, so you found him. And you found whoever is shooting at us. That's the sector pod. Okay, so it is the sector pod that's shooting. Okay. I don't know quite how you mind control a sector pod, but I'll, I'll try. Again. It worked last time. It is robotics, I don't quite see how that should be possible, but uh, at least I thought it was robotic. Uh, maybe it was just a fluke. That's sad. This sect that said, this sector pod is kind of trapped here, so. It worked last time. So I'm very much inclined to keep trying, though it shouldn't have any kind of. Psy rating. It. Okay, let's read its mind. Which feels kind of strange, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, low morale. No size strength, so... I don't know. That guy is harmless, so I don't really care about him. Was it some kind of fluke then? That we were able to mind control the sector pod? I don't know. Might well be the case. Let's mind control that little slave then. Let's see if that works. No. Okay. Um. Oh dear me. Um. This is blown up, but it's intact on the upper levels. I'm inclined to just move. And you can't because he's in, he's in the way. Our slave is in the way. And if you shoot, you won't be able to move away. Okay, kill him. And then move. And turn around. Sectopod shouldn't be able to fire at you from there. Of course, you won't be able to move out either.
Okay, those guys haven't moved. Do I have any soldier left? With Siam charges. I do, but I very much doubt I'll be able to breach these mines. We'll try. Or maybe... Do I want to kill another one of these? Hey, what do you know? We can't ask control. Oh! <laughs> oh my! Um, that kind of explains why they aren't moving. That's okay, then let's try to kill the sector pod. Okay, okay that. Interesting for a while longer. We just might get a peek into his mind. No, okay. Strangely enough, I really would like to get that sector pod out of the way because it is going to be a nuisance. Because I can't move up that side without risking death. Okay, let's have a look. We killed several more units. Have your... Has your morale gone down? No, 80. What about your friend over there? 94, because they did kill another trooper. That is, was in theory ours. And he's already done a reaction shot, so okay, let's kill him. That's everyone that was up there. did see up the stairs, which is kind of scary. Yeah, you sit there. And that's gonna be that. Actually, no, we have one charge left. Let's see. Since we killed one more soldier, did that affect the morale of the sector pod? No. Okay. So we know there's at least... Two aliens alive. The leader on the top floor and the sector pod. And the sector pod can't move. The sector pod is locked in place. First, I want to do a little spinny spin. Spin, spin, spin. Um. I can't actually see how many of the plates here have been blown up, but I suspect it's only the plate just above the engine. If I go over here, I'll be shot at. We know this. The sector pod is there. Uh, it's a bit of a risk. can't actually... You know what? Stay right there. And you turn around just in case someone sneaks around on 
think anyone will. Other than that, I think it's time to start moving troops toward the UFO. Not the psychics, obviously, but... Uh, the non-psychics, certainly. And we are going to move them on the ground floor. <laughs> If I had more confidence in our abilities to basically melt their brains, I would certainly attack with fewer troops. But I think we're gonna need quite a lot of firepower to actually kill the units. Uh, you're gonna stay, obviously. You are. N actually, stay for now. Stay. Uh, you can move. Let's see, that's going to be the fifth trooper. One more, I think. You. Yeah, that's fine. You guys, head out. You probably shouldn't carry the Psyamps in, in one hand, but yeah. I think it's going to be fine. And the rest of you just cycle through. Okay, I'm going to take a short break here, and we'll see if we can manage to clear this UFO out next time. Thank you for watching.